So the first one was how do you document for evaluation? So there's a lot of people out there that have those those state laws that are like you have to have that yeah. portfolio and you have to show your work to the schools. And so how would they document things if they're not specifically using curriculum and letting kids okay. learn on their own? Now, K through eight is, is different documentation than what you need for high school. All right. Okay. So we'll just they're related, you know. But um, so we'll just remember, I'm just on K through eight here. Mm -hmm. So for K through eight, what you want to show is progress over time. Okay. You know, and that's what the portfolio is for. You know, you know, you you. It's probably a wise idea to say most of the material, the, the what you would consider the best, or something that like was was poor, but now you know, you know, you know that, that you know you want to use that as like a, a milestone and say, let's see if we could do better. And, and so you save these documents. Right. But you're not going to present them all to the school at the end of the year as a portfolio. They're mm -hmm. for your use, you know. And then, you know, once, you know, you, you get it like either, you know, I know some people, well, we'll talk about after the fact curriculum <laughs> in, in a minute too. That's very important for unschooling. Yeah. But, um, and so you put your, your, your papers in the folder. And then um, I recommend if you could just jot down something on the back of it, like you would on a photograph, like, oh, this is, this is me and mom at, at the lake, you know, something like that, night and the date. You know, mm -hmm. dates, are, you know, dates are important because they want to see progress over time again. Right? Okay. So, you know, you, you have all that. And then, um, you know, so that, that's, your, that's your work samples. And then I would suggest if you can write one sentence, if you're a writer, one sentence a day about what each child is doing in your home <clears throat> It's more than enough because by the end of the year you're going to have um, like a novella for each child yeah. you know i mean that's you know it's on five days per child you know five sentences minimum a week mm -hmm. it's gonna and you know you're gonna write more than one sentence <laughs> you know that's yeah. just the way it is but so that that's that's a good way you know <clears throat> but then you match that up with you know the portfolio so you say here's an example of you know, the artwork that my child started doing and you can see just stick figures and stuff. But then, you know, by the end of the year, you know, she, she was, you know, looking at these courses, I mean, the, these paintings and she was inspired and she's learned, you know, to do this technique through such and such a program or just taught herself. I mean, that's the legitimate thing was they could see the evidence, you know. Yeah. Um, and so, and then the same thing like with math, um, although math, math is, is good in this sense. You could also do real math. Like you don't have to just say like, oh my, you know, my, here's a, a sheet of fractions. Mm -hmm. You could say here, and, and perhaps you can even have photos or, or videos, you know, uh, here's an example of my daughter making a, a Thanksgiving dinner with me. You know? mm -hmm. And she, we, we had to get these portions and she's using the measuring cup and she's mixing all the ingredients and she's getting everything and, you know, proof is in the pudding it was a delicious meal yeah. all that stuff she knows she knows her fractions you know mm -hmm. there there's evidence of that right there um you know same thing like like if your children are into uh cars or um uh, what, what what are those um the, the maker projects the maker space things you know yes that little plant those well you, you got to be careful like to get the right lengths you've got to get you know then then you bend them and you, you got to to create your things you know you have to use measurements mm -hmm. and the machines have those you, know, you have to know how to enter it and, and, and make it work yeah you know? and i've seen our, our public library has a makerspace in it now and yeah. i've seen kids as young as 10 doing that successfully you know mm -hmm. 